So you're thinking about moving to Lawton, Oklahoma, and you're not really sure about anything about Lawton, Oklahoma, like where the heck is Lawton, Oklahoma, and what's in Lawton, Oklahoma. I totally understand because when I moved here, I had the same questions, but don't worry, I've got you covered because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing everything that you need to know, but it's gonna be in a three-part series. And in this part of this series, we're gonna be covering the foundation of Lawton, the Lawton metro area, the roads and the traffic, the cost of living, the major cities around Lawton, and last but not least, groceries, work, and shopping. So you get to know a lot in this video, and I really think this is gonna help you out. So this is gonna be the first part of the three-part series, but without further ado, let's get to everything you need to know about living in Lawton, Oklahoma. Hey, this is your first time ever checking out the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eat, sleep, work, live, play, moving, relocating to Lawton, Oklahoma, then I definitely want you to check out the videos, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know about the current market in Lawton, Oklahoma. Now, we get calls every single week from people just like you and they're asking questions about what is it like living in Lawton, Oklahoma? What's around the area? And that's kind of the reason why we made these videos. I know when I first moved here, I had no idea about the area and I just had to figure it out myself, but I don't want you to actually go through that. Maybe these videos will help you guys get a healthy understanding of what it's like. And like I said earlier, this is gonna be a three-part series, okay? So in this part of the video, in order for me to show you everything that you need to know, I'm gonna actually need to jump onto the Google map and I'll show you around the city. So without further ado, Let's actually jump to the Google map now. All right, hopping onto the Google map. I think the first question to answer is where the heck is Lawton? Lawton is actually 45 minutes away from the Texas border. So if you look right here, this is the Texas border right here. And you're 45 minutes north from the Texas border. Oklahoma City and DFW, uh, Dallas Fort Worth, are gonna be your two major cities that you're sandwiched in between. And the good news about that is because since Lawton is a small metro area, if you wanna go to the big city, you just take 44 and go an hour and a half and you're into Oklahoma City. But if you wanna to go to a bigger city and take a weekend trip, then just take the same highway down to 287 and that's gonna lead you into the DFW. And that drive time to Dallas Fort Worth is gonna be around three hours and one and a half hours to get to Oklahoma City. So the good thing about being between these two metro areas is that you don't have to pay for the cost of living that you would have in Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, but you actually get really good access to it. Actually diving deeper into Lawton, let's actually take a look. Now that we know we're 45 minutes north of the Texas border, Lawton is a small metro area. It was actually out of 117 small metro areas, actually uh, ranked number 45 in one of the least stressful cities. And I'll talk a little bit about why this is one of those least stressful cities to live in. But to give you an idea of that metro area first is this is Lawton right here. And a part of that metro is going to be another city called Cash. Now, a lot of people they actually live out of Cash, and it's about seven to 12 minutes west of Lawton. So this is a great area to consider if you don't want to live in Lawton, but you're working here and you want to look at some other areas, suburbs or sub metro areas, then Take a look in the cache. Another part of that metro is gonna be Medicine Park. Now, Medicine Park is a part of this metro, but it's not. I really don't know too many people who are living in Medicine Park and working in Lawton because Medicine Park really is more of a tourist town. If you've ever been to Germany, what Germany looks like, Medicine Park is a great image of that where you've got red, pink, blue, yellow, orange buildings, beautiful greenery, beautiful scenery, and this huge lake right here, Lake Latonka, sandwiched in between houses is the lake. So you can actually be on your porch and you can see people fishing, hanging out at the park, hanging out at the lake uh, with this backdrop of these mountains. So Medicine Park is a part of that metro, but this is really more of a tourist town. So I'll put a T on that. Cash is a place where people live. And another part of that metro is gonna be Elgin. People come out here and live as well. Fletcher is a part of, of the metro as well, but I honestly don't know too many people who live in Fletcher as well, just because it's about a 25 minute drive. Most people are really doing life in Lawton are normally living out of cash and in Elgin. But these four cities will include Fletcher, are part of that Lawton metro area. And I'll be showing you some videos of Cash, Medicine Park, and Elgin as well as Lawton, just so you get a good idea before you move here. You can actually see everything that you need to know about these cities. Now that we've gone into what the cities are 
Let's actually drop some quick facts about Lawton. So Lawton is actually at the foothills of the Wichita Mountains. So the Wichita Mountains are really over here. Anytime you're driving on one of these random roads, you can see the backdrop of the mountains. Uh, uh, one of the important facts that you need to know about, about Lawton as well is that since it's considered a small metro area, there has to be some place that is generating a lot of business and that is the military. This is a military town, so let's actually dive into it right now and it's actually the Fort Sill Army Base so if you're PCSing or you're relocating that's just another term to relocate in the military the Fort Sill Army Base really is here it's actually all of this here it's like 90,000 acres that they have but this is where Fort Sill Army Base is just so you get a good idea of where you're going to be commuting to and from you're going to be coming north to go to Fort Sill if I can yeah there we go <laughs> Fort Sill. So let's actually uh, zoom in a little bit so you can get familiar with these roads as well. So the five main streets that you need to know about Lawton is it's going to be Rogers Lane. You're going to have Quanah Parker Trailway. That actually leads into Cash Road. Then you're going to have Gore. And then you're going to have Lee. This is really where everything is. This is the west side and then this is the east side over here. But the west side really is where most of life is going on. For instance, there's not a Walmart on the east side, three on the west side. With this being five streets, I think I said it before, if I didn't, then it was ranked number 45 out of 117 small metro areas as the least stressful city. I think it has something to do with two things, which is the traffic and the cost of living. Speaking on to the traffic, 44, this is the highway, right? So let's just zoom out. This is your west side of town. This is your east side of town zoom in just a little bit here. The west side, like I said, has more to do, a lot more life, a lot more shopping and retail housing there. On the east side is a lot of land, but there is housing and great schools. Highway 44. So this is the highway that you're going to be taking when you want to go south to DFW. You know, you'll be going south on 44. And when you want to go north, taking you to Elgin, Oklahoma City, then you're going to be going on Highway 44. You're really not using it a lot to get anywhere because the city only has this one highway, right? And to get everywhere, you're going to be using those five streets that we talked about. Rogers Lane, Quanah Parker, Cash, Gore, and Lee. The good news about that traffic is that everything really is like 7 to 14 minutes away. I'll never forget, our real estate office is actually here close to 44. We live on this side of town. And I text my wife, I'll actually be home. And it got me 10 minutes to be home. Now, the reason why this is uh, important to know for me is because I've actually lived the last 15 years in Dallas, Fort Worth. So I dealt with traffic. I, I don't know where you're coming from. So definitely comment below if you're thinking about living in Lawton. Where are you coming from? Because you may be able to relate to this like I have for the last 14 years is that traffic is just a part of life in these really big cities. And you're not really gonna be dealing with that in Lawton, Oklahoma because Highway 44, I don't actually use this highway a lot. Uh, my son actually goes to school, my oldest son. We live on the west side of town and he goes to school on the east side of town. And if he has to get to school at 7.30, I'm leaving the house maybe 7.10, 7.15 to get all the way over here, maybe maybe 15 minutes at the most. It's just something like environmental stress, I would say that you get in these big cities because you have to prep your mind that, okay, I'm gonna drive from A to B. It's gonna be a lot of traffic. What time do I have to leave so that I don't get caught up in all the traffic, but I'm gonna deal with it anyway. You don't really experience that while you're living in Lawton, Oklahoma. And that's why I think it's one of those least stressful, uh, while I was on that, on that list as one of the least stressful cities to live in. <laughs> so if I went on a tangent, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but Highway 44, you could honestly, if you're living on the east or the west side, uh, you really don't need the highway to get to the army base because you're really gonna be taking uh, Fort Sill Boulevard and Fort Sill Boulevard will take you right here to the stone. Where's it at? Where's that gate? Yeah, Scott Gate. It's gonna be right there. So wherever you're living, you're really gonna be hitting these main streets. You really don't need the highway. Comment below where you're coming from. Definitely wanna hear uh, more. We'll definitely look forward with number one relocation company out here. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can be the first to know about what's going on in the Lawton market. All right, so let's take a break from the Lawton map so we can actually talk about the cost of living. How much does it actually cost you to live in Lawton, Oklahoma? And according to Rent Cafe, the cost of living in Lawton is actually 26% lower than what the national average is. So your dollar goes so much further in Lawton than where it made somewhere else. For example, the median home price in the national average is 428,700 bucks. 
but in Lawton, the medium home price is $123,500. So you can almost get four times more home in Lawton, Oklahoma than where you can with the national average. So to give you a good idea of what the utilities and the cost of living is, here's actually a list of some of the utilities that you can be paying and how much they are compared to the national average. Utilities are gonna be 3% lower than the national average. The electric is around 202. I know that this is an oil and gas state, so I can definitely tell you that if you do see an increase in your electric bill, I pay around 202 bucks a month. It's probably because the oil and the gas is actually uh, more expensive in that moment. So you can expect to see that fluctuate, but 200 is around the average. The average rent in Lawton is 700 bucks a month. Full-time daycare, if you're anything like me and you've got children, full-time daycare is about six to 800 bucks a month. Car insurance is gonna run you anywhere between 2,000 to 3,500 bucks a month. Groceries are gonna be 8% cheaper than where they are compared to the national average. Shopping and retail is gonna be 8% lower as well. So your overall housing is gonna be around 26% lower. But I will say that the state taxes are actually higher. So the national average for state tax is 4.6%, but in Lawton is actually 5%. So I know for me, the daycare and the food was definitely a big benefit for me coming to Lawton, Oklahoma. When I was living in Dallas, Texas and Fort Worth, it was really around 400 bucks a week just for daycare for our kid. But now we've got three children but now we have one kid in a great school. He's part-time there, so it's around 400 bucks a month for him to be there. But if he was full-time, then it'd be around 800 bucks. All right, let's jump back onto the Google map because now I'm gonna be showing you where you're gonna be doing a lot of your grocery shopping at because you've got a couple options out here. I'm also gonna show you some jobs and then we're gonna end it with some shopping and I'm gonna give my honest opinion. Let's get back to the map now. So the groceries that you're gonna be getting is going to be coming from your Walmart, your Target, your Homeland, and your Sam's Club. So just to give you an idea of where these things are. So there's a few Walmarts. I think there's one, two, it might be three. I think it's three Walmarts out here and there's a neighborhood Walmart. So let's actually do the first one so you can actually see how close these things are. So you've got your first one, that's gonna be an eight minute drive. That one is on Sheridan. That's a super center. And the Sam's Club is actually right next to it. I definitely suggest if you don't have a Sam's Club membership, go ahead and get a Sam's Club uh, membership. Pay your hundred bucks. I think it's a hundred bucks for an entire year and get some good food while you're shopping around. So notice the drive time of the places that you're going to go. So it's gonna be showing like the heart of Lawton, which is like downtown, uh, whenever you're trying to get somewhere and just, that'll be like the reference point that we'll see, but it's neighborhood Walmart, and that's gonna be a nine minute drive. You're gonna see this a lot. And then what about Target though? There's a Target here, your Target. This is gonna be, now it says 17 minutes, but you're not really, if you're not living downtown, it's not really 17 minutes. Like, I don't even know. Like, that just feels so much further. I'm clearly uh, affected by what these numbers are because I live here. It doesn't really take 17 minutes, but 7.4 mile drive. The other place that you're going to be getting your groceries from is Homeland as well. That one's going to be a 14 minute drive coming from downtown. There's not a World Market. There's not a Kroger. Some of the big grocery stores that you might be used to. Uh, this is a small metro area, so Sam's Club, Walmart, Target, Homeland, that is where you're gonna be getting a lot of your groceries from. Comment in below, I definitely wanna hear where you're coming from, but also what type of restaurants and grocery stores do you know uh, that you experience wherever you're coming from? I know for me, being in Dallas-Fort Worth, it was Kroger's, World, World Market. Yeah, I think those were the main two I would go. Yeah, Kroger's and World Market. I know there's some others in Texas, but I can't remember right now. But in Oklahoma City, it was Crest. That was the place I would always go to. And Fresh Market. As far as colleges go, you've got Cameron University. I clearly can't spell today. So let's just have Google do all the work. Cameron University is going to be about a six-minute drive. Great school. My wife even went to school here. And they also have another college as well. It's like a trade college, Great Plains Technology Center. That's a good trade school. And that is nine minutes from the heart of uh, downtown. If you're not going to school or you don't have college kids and maybe you're looking into jobs, as far as the jobs, obviously the military base is gonna be uh, one of the main places of work, which is gonna be in this area, but also the medical industry. There are many hospitals, Comanche hospitals and just pulling up all the hospitals if you're in the, the medical field. Quite a few out here in Lawton, as you can see. <laughs> so good jobs for the medical industry as well. Goodyear is one of the main companies that is actually out here. And Goodyear is actually, so let's actually get off of here. All right, so you can see right here, this is actually Goodyear and pulling it up on the map, 
this is going to be in between Lee and Cash. And you can see, well, Goodyear Boulevard right here. And Goodyear is another place for some jobs as well. Bar S Foods, that is the food industry. That is a place for some good jobs as well. Because this is a military town, engineering and technology and defense technology is actually coming to Lawton, Oklahoma. And there is, I believe, when we went to the last meeting, it said it was going to be, I believe, like 20,000 jobs coming to Lawton, Oklahoma from FISTA. But now that we've actually talked about work, let's actually talk about some of the shopping. And I'm going to be honest with you guys because I'm not a local, so I can only give you somebody who has experienced another city and have something to compare it to. When it comes to the shopping, Lawton is okay, but it's not the best. I would say if you really want your major outlets, then you definitely want to go to Dallas-Fort Worth and you want to go to Oklahoma City as well because there is a Lawton Mall, but it's not the biggest. Central Plaza Mall, I just an idea of where that is. So it's a two minute drive. So as you can see, I'm at the Central Plaza Mall and this is the main place to do shopping here. Now, there are some other like squares and shopping centers that you can go to that have uh, more franchises but this is the actual mall here. Not many options. As you can see uh, right, right behind me, this is actually Journeys right here. So you've got Journeys, you've got Old Navy, you've got JCPenney, things like that. But as far as, um... <laughs> love the kids, man, love the kids. And you've also got a place called Champs. You've got Buckle. <clears throat> and I even think you've got like Zoomies. Oh, here it is right here, actually, yeah. So you got zoomies right here as well. And of course you gotta get your hats, right? So you've got your lids, you got your lids right behind me. So you don't get many options out here. I would definitely tell you that if you wanna do any real shopping, then consider going to Dallas Fort Worth where they have many outlets and major malls like the Galleria, uh, North, uh, Highlands Park and things like that. Or you can go to Oklahoma City which is just an hour and a half away and they've got Penn Square Mall, Quell Springs Mall, Crossroads Mall, and they've even got an outlet out there. Really good shopping at, out there as well. Penn Square Mall in Oklahoma City is like the main place. Um, they really started to put a lot of money in the Penn Square Mall. And, and last time I went, it was like I was in a brand new city and I'm from Oklahoma City and didn't see Penn Square Mall being what it is today. But if you want that level of shopping, then you definitely want to consider uh, Dallas-Fort Worth or you want to consider Oklahoma uh, City as well. But let's get to the next thing. Since it is a mall metro, a small metro area they do have some places um, where you can get a lot of stuff that you need like academy okay so academy is in lawton and let's actually see if we can go and show some photos yeah as you can see there's a pet smart there is a target like this area right here just to give you just to give you an idea like i said you've got these five main streets right and here is the west side here's the west side of lawton Here's the east side of Lawton, okay? So whenever we zoom in and we actually start to go to Quanta Parker, which is one of those streets that I told you about, in between Cash and Quanta Parker is where the square is. And this square has a lot of the things that we're talking about. This is this is one of the, this is probably the first biggest square. And then we'll go on the east, well, not really to the east side. We'll get close to the east side and I'll show you another square. But you've got Academy Sports, you've got uh, five below, you've got Target, TJ Maxx, you've got Starbucks, Panda Express, you've got the bank. Okay shopping, uh, I'll be honest with you, it's just okay shopping, not the best, but this Lawton Marketplace shopping mall, let's actually see if, pull this up and see if we can get some some images here. Adobo Mexican Grill, that's a great place as well. You've got Chuck E. Cheese. Put in the comments below, if you have a Chuck E. Cheese in the city that you're coming from, I'd love to hear that. There is. Uh, a difference when coming from a, a small city to Lawton or from a big city to Lawton. I've been there as well. So I was just as uh, surprised and shocked as you will be whenever you move out here to and adjusting to some of the things and can't wait to help you out. Diving back into what's in that shopping center, TJ Maxx, a department store. If you, when you're moving out here, you want to get uh, some furniture. You got TJ Maxx. There is a place called Home Zone here that you can go check out and they're okay. But I would definitely tell you if you're moving out here, you want to get your online game down to where you can actually find some places that have some variety of furniture because Lawton doesn't have a lot of department furniture stores. Home Zone is one. I didn't shop there myself. I did everything online. That's a place that you might want to check out Home Zone as well. But now that we've seen this square, let's actually go to the other side 
I guess you can call it the other side of town. When you hear someone say like, hey, I, I have to go all the way to the other side of town and the all the other way side of town is like a 10 to 12 minute drive. It really doesn't feel that far to me. So we've been talking so much on the west side. Let me actually show you the distance on the east side. Okay, so this is another square. Where is it at here? I'm here. Oh, we're right there. Okay another square that you can do some shopping at. So as you can see, I'm on the other side of town. This is downtown Lawton. You can see right behind me, they've got the Dick's Sporting Goods. There's a Kohl's even over here, a shoe carnival, and a PetSmart. As you can see, this square is pretty big and there's a lot of the essentials that you can get. The other side of town is where that Academy and that Target, um, what else, TJ Maxx, even Five Below is over there as well. So you can still get really good essentials. All the essentials you need, you can get in Lawton. As far as the shopping mall, though, you definitely want to consider, like we said earlier, look at Dallas-Fort Worth, look at Oklahoma City, and get some better shopping now. Let's get back to the video. So as you can see, between these two shopping centers and the mall, you don't have much. So like I said earlier, Oklahoma City and Dallas-Fort Worth is going to be your area for those really big, big outlets. Now that we've gone on to the shopping, let me actually show you what the east side of town is. When you're looking into the city, you can tell that there's more on the west side than the east side. You can see Walmart's Hobby Lobby's, a couple of neighborhoods, there's your home zone. Um, all the restaurants and things are gonna be here. And then when you come over here to the east side, you don't really see that much. And there are beautiful homes for here. We'll talk about that and we'll go into some of these neighborhoods and take a look at them. As you can see, not a lot on the east side. I hope that helps you get a, a good understanding of what the east and west side is, but I thought it'd be a good idea if we actually took it off of the map and actually gave you the terrain look you can actually see for yourself. All right, so that wraps up part one of this three-part series. Now that you know that the city is based at the foothills of the Wichita Mountains, in the next videos, we're gonna be showing some recreational activities that you could do around the lakes and hiking and the mountains, and then we'll end it off with the subdivisions that you might wanna consider before you're moving here. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Like I said, we get calls every single week from people just like you who have questions about Lawton, Oklahoma, want to know what it's like living in Lawton, Oklahoma with a number one relocation team. So shoot us a call, give us a text. All the show note description has all the information for you. I can't wait to see you. Until then, y'all have a great day because you absolutely deserve it.